you don't like burley, you probably wouldn't like this tobacco. Again, it's one I've spoke about before. And it's it's quite pleasant. It's not bad. A little bit mild for my uh, taste, but not bad at all. It's saving grace is the sweetness. It's an aromatic. It's got things like uh, liqueur essences and vanilla. But the sweetness of the, what I presume is vanilla, comes through, comes through right the way down the bowl. It's um, it's Sutliff's mixture number seventy nine, and it's not bad at all. Smoking it in a bulldog, F and T bulldog, another good solid pipe. One of my friends that I did up. It's quite a, for a mild tobacco, it's quite a complex one. Being an aromatic, it's got all sorts of things going on underneath the burley. There's a herbaceousness about it. Some people have detected fruit in it as well. I do get a slight touch of pineapple. It's one of those tobaccos that really makes you search your memory banks. You know, you're sort of thinking to yourself, Ooh, "What's that taste? What's that taste?" It's when you when you hit on one, you say, "Yeah, that's it." It's quite satisfying actually. But um, like I say, it's a little bit on the mild side. Highish mild, not quite medium. And as far as I'm aware, just burly. I'm more of a Virginia, Virginia man myself, but it's not bad now and then, a bit of burly. Anyway, just a couple of thoughts to be going on with. Burns quite well as well. Not hot, as so long as you take your time with it. So, I'll leave you to it guys while I get on with this. Mixture 79. Thanks for watching.